Good morning. I'm in LA, Watch is Anaheim. It is day three? Thursday, Friday, so day four. Oh no, it's the last day. I'm actually leaving today, <clears throat> in a few hours actually. And I haven't done any filming whatsoever in there. Um, and it's been quite nice. Um, Cause that wasn't my intention, so it's fan going. But I thought I'd just quickly show you a little bit of Nam, so you get an idea of the last day. I'm going for breakfast. Well, I've had I've had no dinner. I haven't eaten for nearly 24 hours. So um, we're going to Denny's. Well, that breakfast didn't help at all. Uh, I haven't really drunk properly out here because uh, I wanted to be focused and business minded and whatnot. And last night, I thought it was the last night, and uh, I went back to my old ways, and now I have a, a lovely hangover. But uh, yeah, I'll quickly whiz round and show you some bits and bobs, and uh, you can hear the noise level of Crazy Nam 2020. It's been amazing. I'll talk more about it in a minute. Okay, first step, Fender. Let's go there. You got these little bad boys. The new ones, which actually I haven't played yet. Uh, have a little play. This is the Jimmy Woodstock strap. I do like this and I think they've done quite a good little job of it. Every time I come here they've got a new accessory <laughs> with it, hey. The new Eric Johnson Virginia strap. I saw Eric Johnson play the other day, which was really cool in here. But he's a 54 Strat called Virginia back in the 80s, and he sold it. And so, I'm guessing that's kind of a, an inspired by thing. So there's a big metalist in here. But we've got some teddies. Looking like teddies. Bit of George Harrison love. We all love the George. Now if you've been following me on Instagram, you see I posted this, which I really like. And this. I'm not usually a fan of relics, but that is a really cool bass. And then there's this. Now that is a seriously, seriously cool looking Esquire. 
Just one pick up. That relicking is really good. Oh, I just told Chris from Brooklyn to me, I said, so we're going to come to Brooklyn? Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to look at this. You're a Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> I'm going to really like that or think it's really tacky. Now this guitar has got a really skinny neck. I was quite surprised, make sure you're in focus. Have, uh, not super skinny, but fairly skinny. I was quite surprised by that. So that's all the cool stuff. You've got ultras and stuff like that, you know. You can see that in your local guitar shop, but that's the, that's the, that's the good stuff. Right, let's have a peek in... <laughs> Let's uh, go in Jackson and Eddie Van Halen stuff's in there as well. They've got a new Frankenstein affordable relic of this famed Frankie strap, I guess it's called. Right, this is the first time I've seen it. Uh, you know what? It's not bad. I'm going to have a Tune is quite cool. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, well, it's not really my th usual my usual thing, but it's cool. So um, yeah, that went bad. That went bad. Uh, Seventeen hundred dollars, uh, whatever that is in UK money. Um, the neck was nice. It's, it's nice having a neck. What uh, doesn't have any finish on it, you know. Anyway, so I'm gonna now quickly go to Gibson. I kind of like this quick fly in the wall. <laughs> For me, I don't have to edit much, so it's alright. And my voice is really starting to go. Uh, I've been singing every day on the Yamaha booth 
uh, apart from today. Thank God. Um, so, um, yeah, singing, talking a lot, loud music, man, you know. But yeah, let's go to Gibson. Sounds like it's gonna be very loud, so I probably won't be able to talk much in it. So, winners for me. I really like this. This is very cool. And I think, I like all these SGs, man. Those three for fives, those two three for fives, the, the tobacco verse and the cherry red. Um, me like, me like them. And those SGs, got a bit of a hankering for an SG. Um, I just said the time I've got like a strong 50 minutes before I've got to go. So let's, uh, oh, let's go. Corey Smith is right there. So let's pop in there. Uh, I would see if my, my lovely Jean is there, but I think she's probably gone. The sun is so dead in here on a Sunday. Not dead, but Thursday, Friday is like the industry day, uh, which is really cool and I prefer. Saturday is nuts. Got everyone their nan comes and you can't move. And I wasn't, oh, it was too much. Today, it's a bit like Thursday again. It's so, like, all behind me, like yesterday, that would have been packed, man. Uh, let's put you going, uh, PRS. There you go. Here's uh, the new Maple Silver Scout. Oh, sold. I played one uh, the other day in Michael from Guitar Gate's video, which I'm sure I've got up at some point. And once it's up, I'll probably nick it and put it in the game or something. I like it. I really like it. Uh, I need to sort it out, trying to get a proper demo, uh, you know, to borrow one or something. Uh, which I'll sort you guys. But there's some nice stuff here, man. And they're all sold. That's quite cool. That is nice. And this looks nice as well. Get it in the light. I quite like the look of that. Nice. Um, again, this is really empty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so empty here. Here's one for uh, Pete and Ore. Bit of purple to We all know how much Pete really loves purple. <laughs> Love you, Pete, <laughs> if you're watching this. <laughs> yeah, I did finish yesterday. Go over here. A little peak here. How much have been here? Wow, everything's so. Wow, that looks incredible. That looks really nice. That is really nice. Whenever I see you don't touch something, I want to touch it. So, oh. but I'll be respectful. These are actually these are really wow. These are some nice looking guitars, man. Another one for uh, Pete. <laughs> Again, these are these are these are stunning. These are really nice. Look at that. Bit of Santana. Nice. There's Mr. 
Mr. Paul Reed Smith himself. Many, you know, 1985, 2020. I'll tell you what, you've got to respect that. You know, he's, uh, he's done very well, you know, 35 years. Um, same age as me. So, uh, <laughs> same amount of time I've been born. Oh, wait a minute. That is nice. Cool, it's again so weird being here, so dead. You know? uh, right, now I'm going to go down to where usually it's all chaos downstairs um, and quickly whiz around there. And then, um, oh, I'll go. Just so you get an inkling, you walk through, here we go, boom. You walk in. And this is how it all looks. Again, <laughs> and I keep saying it, so much quieter, man. So much quieter. Um, right, let's set up a few places, some cool places to show you. And, uh, yeah, let's go around. I'm gonna go around Two Rock. I haven't actually spoken to Two Rock yet. Every time I go to Two Rock, it's just packed full of people. So I'm gonna head there quickly now. Mr. Pete Thorne, his guitar, and then Mr. Matthias Asato, he's got that new Telecaster out. And that's quite a nice neck actually. That was good. It's a strap, game. Oh. The neck's actually uh, quite chunky than what you think. It's, uh, yeah, good hand for it. You know what? And I'm not plugging it in, but that is actually a really nice guitar. That feels really nice. That's got a really, really, really uh, comfortable neck. I like that a lot. Uh, yeah, sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, cheers, man. I'll chat to you in a minute. I'm just going to do a little. Yeah. yeah. Now I think it's this guitar here what I played in the Felix video uh, at Famous. I think. It's hard to remember. A little bit of a blur. But I certainly remember a lot of these guitars. When I'm at, was that uh, Famous Warwick? All oh, very, very nice. All oh, bit different. I don't like that. Oh, I remember that. I remember that guitar. It was a different colour, but I remember that model. Yeah, the, the, the Ablo. I remember that. You on sound, sound all right? Yeah, it'll be all right. It's quite surprising, quite a good little um, one. So, all right, okay, so Tim's got a God. stack of bloody. This is basically a whole <laughs> load of odysseys. Right, yeah. So you can think that that one's a tremolo. Right. Yeah.
chatting and I completely forgot to film, so uh, I don't know what I've just filmed. I was just with uh, Hampson Hampson, Tom Gray, played great, uh, Tom's new, uh, I guess, Jag-esque guitar. It's actually really nice, really nice. Um, I know he filmed me playing it, so there'd be some kind of footage going on. Uh, I just saw the time and it's now bang on one o'clock. My flight's at six, so I kind of want to be at LAX3. It's getting loud on there, the drums. Um, I got a strong 15, 20 minutes. Let me see what else I can quickly see. So, this is the new pier from Steve I. Uh, Ibanez and uh, I tell you playing a scalloped uh, fingerboard actually if this actually focuses playing a, a scalloped fingerboard really mate it's so smooth when you bend it so if you go to the same white there's the white one Very thin neck, as you can imagine. But uh, yeah, I think I need to get a guitar with scallops. I'm saying like the idea of uh, those top frets, especially like when you're playing Les Paul, sometimes it's hard to get on the top. Uh, having a scallop bit helps. You again? Yeah, I know. I'm actually getting my camera out for the first time. Now, next door and Ernie Ball. Ah, I'm lost. Um, we get to Ernie Ball. They got a new guitar. Which is very, very nice. And it is this, the Sabre. Yeah. That's a nice guitar. A couple of different colours. Like that. And it's very good looking blue. That's a good looking guitar. But I do like a honey. I like my honey. It's cool. And then you got this very bling. Look at that. It's uh it does not tack in the most amazing way, I don't know what it is. Brilliant. The light's not even doing it justice. I wish I could get how glittery this is. And the neck actually, I thought the Luke has a thin neck, but it's um, it's all right now. Nice, got another blingy one here. Do a bit of bobs. Seven strings. Oh, the tuner. We don't need to worry about something. Oh, but one thing. So, this was last year. This very uh, cool volume pedal with a tuner in it. And very kindly, yesterday Ernie Ball gave me one. So, um, I'll show you when I get home. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll probably see I posted a story about it anyway. But uh, if you don't, go and follow me on Instagram. Should go and do that. Um, I really gotta go, I think. What's the time? Where's my phone? 10 past 1. I might need, I might have to go. Let's see what happens. Right, there's one place I have to show you, and that is the new Nuno Betting Court Pelly. Uh, or teeth type on Washburn. So I'm gonna quickly go there now. Uh, I've got a bit more time, it's about 40 minutes to LAX. I want to stop talking now because all this shit's going on. <laughs> oh well. Where anything is, and the app 
is rubbish. So it's memory. There's a lot of people like, oh, cut my stand, and I'm like, yeah, 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 cool. And, I find, and I'll try and find it. I can't find it. So now, like I say, I, I, I quickly looked for the Washburn one and thought I knew where it was. And I completely lost it. I've been there so many times. I learned or passed it. But yeah, now, so you wrap out so it works better. So on my way to find Washburn, I find this handsome man, Matthew. Have you got an Instagram or YouTube or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I have a band actually we're called Joker's Hand at Joker's Hand Official. Joker's Hand Official? Yeah. Yes. Everyone go and check out Joker's Hand Official. Cool. Matthew, it's been lovely meeting you. Great to meet you. Cool, yeah. and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. <laughs> Don't buy too much. Okay. <laughs> Take care, man. Thanks okay, for the tour as well. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. I can see Washburn. I'm in the drum bit. This is like no man's land. It's not safe. Listen to it, but look, 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 look. Look at that. This is one of my favorite guitars here. Only problem, I've got done a picture, which I'll put in now. It's quite small, because Nuno's a small guy. And also, it's a $3,000 price tag. Here's this Relic Strat, the, the 4N. There's a cool video on YouTube actually of the guy, Nuno bought this second hand, the original one. And the, the original owner, or the original original owner has done a cool video. I'll find it and I'll put a link in the description, um, description box below, check it out. Really cool. And that's the N4. I do like the, uh, the thought of, um, you know, no paint, no lacquer. There's the sexy man himself, look at that. That's a rock star right there. But um, yeah, thin necks. The old cutaway bridge. That's the maple one. Uh, no finish on the back. Very, very nice and smooth. Really nice and smooth. So, let me get, let me get out of here. <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> Nuts! Right, well, I, uh, this is it. I've got to go. It's half past one. Well, come nearly half past one. Uh, I want to be at the airport by three. I think it's about 40 minutes to get there. The traffic doesn't look too bad, but um, oh, let me just walk through Martin. Let's walk through it. Um, Is like where all the business stuff goes. You get all these like people in suits just sitting around signing God knows how many amount of money deals, you know. All right, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta go. I could I could walk around a few other things. There's a few other people I haven't said goodbye to, but um, you can't do it all, man. Um, oh, ma'am. Right, so. Uh, Get back to mine, get back to the very cold hotel. I've been staying with Cole Golden, my good old mate. That's who I was drinking with last night. <laughs> Cole is a naughty boy. Um, and CGS used to be staying with us um, in the coldest uh, hotel ever. It's horrible. <laughs> uh, but I was in LA for a few days before, and my mate Elijah, Elijah Gray, check him out. He's the sweetest man in the world. And uh, you know what, I should talk about this when there's less noise. Hang on a minute. Right, okay. Nam's, Nam's over there. Behind me, the Sheridan the other day was a massive YouTube hangout on Friday night. You might have seen a picture. Um, I would say 90% 90, 90 of you know the main guitar YouTube community were there. Um, off the top of my head, but Mighty Swartz organised it. Mighty Swartz, Justin Guitar, Paul Davids, David Davids, um, Lee Anderton, Peter Norway, Carl Golden, uh, God, I'm missing people, Adam Neely, uh, I saw Mary Spender, Rex, Rex Scholl, uh, Tim Pierce, the legendary, lovely Tim Pierce, great to meet him. 
Really, really sweet guy. Tomo Fricella, is that how you pronounce his name? Uh, John Mayer's old teacher, teacher from Berkeley, amazing guitar player in his own right. I met him, uh, I met Justin Guitar earlier, and uh, I'm having a wee. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin comes in the toilet with Tomo, and then uh, we're all, uh, you know, having a wee on the cubicle, and Justin's like, oh Mike, you've, you've met Tomo before. And I was like, oh, nice to meet you. I said, look, I'll shake you out in a minute. Um, and we've all got our hands on our gentleman areas. <laughs> I thought, I'll shake your hands in a minute. Um, <laughs> let's just finish. That is like the best icebreaker ever. Could then have a conversation, you know. So he was really, really cool. Really, really sweet. Um, probably missing people. Uh, Matt from uh, Chapman Guitars. Uh, Matt Hornby, I think his name is. Nice guy, really sweet guy. Everyone, everyone's nice, man. Everyone's really sweet. Um, and that was that was really cool. That was really cool. Um, met up with Dave Ryan Harris. That wasn't on camera, obviously. Um, we were meant to meet up in LA. Couldn't happen. But then uh, he kind of uh, he messaged me saying, "I just saw you." But then turn around, and you're gone. And uh, I was playing at Yamaha. Uh, and then uh, as I was leaving, I heard the coolest, quiet, no, nice, quiet voice, but super silk voice. Go, Mike. Mike turned around and the coolest cat in the world's there. So um, that was lovely to meet him. Uh, God, got to see Phil X again. He did an amazing set of Gibson. Phil's with Gibson now. And he did an awesome set. Um, actually, I'll put a clip in right now. And, oh man, so, uh, and I bumped into him, and I think he's playing um, the UK in March. So I'll definitely try and do that, but uh, yeah, it's cool chatting to him for a little bit. I met him the next day, well, not met him, I bumped into him the next day. to get a little one-on-one -on -one chat, but uh, yeah, good on him for going Gibson, that's, he's going places, that kid. Uh, God, wow, well, said so much, man, it's been, last Nam was, um, was good. I kind of treated it like a holiday a little bit. And this Nam, I went very much business head. And I was playing every day on, at Yamaha, I was doing singing in the morning and, and playing, obviously, lots of guitar. And, and a new guitar in the afternoon. And, uh, oh, Chris Buck. Oh, man, everyone's here. <laughs> but um, Chris, the reason I thought that, Chris has got a really nice one off Revstar gold top, like nitro finish. It looks a bit sexy. Um, but no, like I say, yeah, so last year I. Um, I guess treated like a holiday and I felt awful a lot of the time. This time went very business head and I went off on my own a lot and uh, was able to do what I got to do, you know. So it was, it was brilliant. I had a really good time. Now I pretty much packed, got to throw stuff in the suitcase, throw some more stuff in and then get an Uber and go to LAX. And I, I, I'm 35, still don't really like getting a plane on my own. <laughs> the whole airport and I kind of panic, I'm like, ah, can I, oh, can I make this traffic lights here? Um, you know, like, oh, I miss the old days where you get an actual boarding ticket and you can, <laughs> you just show the ticket, go to the desk and all that kind of stuff, you know, but, oh, yeah. well, uh, I'm back where it all kind of started in this video, I'm back at Denny's and, uh, yeah, so it's been a great time, I hope you enjoyed this kind of last minute kind of uh, walk around now. Um, obviously I've missed out loads, but uh, it's a big old place, man. Big old place. And uh, I'll be back next year. I think once you do it, once you got to come all the time. Anyway, Mike Bradley, very much sign out in uh, quite cloudy LA. My voice is coming back. Lots of love, guys. Mike Bradley, sign out. Bye.